Hey everybody, Cray Spartan here again, and today I felt like doing a little bit of something different. Um, playing a little World of Warcraft. You might have heard of this game. It's been around for a little while. Um, having a lot of fun with it, of course. Uh, I've played World of Warcraft since back in, I want to say 2007. I want to say that. Uh, it was the era of uh, the Lich King. So... Uh, that's the Wrath of the Lich King when that expansion came out. That's when I really started playing um, and your max level cap was at 80. <laughs> so I've been playing for a little while. Uh, I, I never did play vanilla or Burning Crusades because I just didn't have a computer that uh, could handle that type of stuff. I just didn't. Um, I did the best I could. Um, I remember logging in like the first time just trying out the uh, I think my brother sent me a 14-day trial or something log it in and my computer was so bad it could not even uh, uh, draw the sky in the, draw the sky box in at all it's just like I had black sky and <laughs> it was bad I was just like well it's pretty much not gonna happen because I just did not have the, uh, the computer power uh, to do it but I'm doing a little dungeon run here in the um, Legion expansion. And, of course, I love uh, Legion. I love... Uh, Legion is so much better than uh, World Lords of Draenor. Ugh. <laughs> there's, there's a video out there that um, I thought was just hilarious. Uh, basically, uh, we had this guy. He was, he was always screaming, this game is dead, this game is dead. You know what I'm talking about. People today about Halo all the time. He's just sitting there going, this game is dead, this game is dead. Uh, you guys, you know, killed it, blah, blah, blah. And it kept going through every expansion. Uh, Burning Crusades, this game is dead, this game is dead. <laughs> Lich King, this game is dead. You know, and he, all the way, and then he hits, uh, hits, uh, gets up to uh, Draenor. And then he stops, he turns around, looks like oh my god you guys actually did it the game is dead <laughs> uh, I thought that was funny um, but as you can see here uh, we're doing the uh, doing this little dungeon run here and what I love about dungeon runs in in World of Warcraft is it's just so much more uh, fulfilling especially if you have a challenge Ooh, see I got me a death thing on me Ah, that wasn't good. Um, but anyways, one thing I liked about it is just uh, there's specific roles that you play. Uh, now, I'm playing a mage right here. And um, the thing about playing a mage is mages do DPS or damage per second is what they call it. They call them deeps uh, for short. And what we do here as a, as a damage is you just kill things. You kill things as fast as you possibly can and try to stay alive, try to make the healer's job a little bit easier um, by staying out of the fire. Yes, stay out of the fire. <laughs> Which means basically don't stand in stuff. Because uh, if you stand in stuff, you die. Uh, but that's, that's my uh, role in this, this uh, little uh, dungeon run. And I'm not doing all that great because I am actually pretty low level. I think it's 101 or 100. I think, I, yeah, there you go. I just leveled up to 101. And the max cap right now is 110. So everybody else has got a little bit more juice than I do. But that's okay. And then the other uh, roles that you play is uh, the, is a healer. Uh, healer's job is pretty simple. Is it, uh, well, I say it's simple, but it's not. Uh, you keep everybody alive as best as you can. And trust me, I've played the healer, and it's not easy, especially if you got somebody being stupid, such as I do from time to time. Um, standing in stuff, I'm not supposed to. Um, not moving, it's just like, like you gotta move, you gotta keep going, otherwise you get stunned, you get uh, extra damage on you. Um, so, extra stuff like that. And that's what's awesome, man, is it, really, you fill that role and keep everybody alive, as, like I said, as best as you can. Now then the last role is the tank. Now the tank's job is, again, it's, it's fairly simple. Um, again, you, you tend to be the leader of the group because you usually know the, know the dungeons better than uh, anybody else because you run them um, constantly. 
and that's not always the case, but it, it tends to be the case most of the time. And their job is to pretty much keep everything attacking them. They take the most damage and the healer keeps them alive. Now they have better armor, they have higher uh, health points, so they are able to take that damage. Um, so that's generally the roles there, and that's why I really love uh, playing uh, World of Warcraft and doing dungeons, because each, each role is very useful, very neat, and then you have different classes. Um, I love playing uh, every single class, except Warrior. I just never could just never did like the warrior class. I still don't like it. I've tried it several times. I just I just can't get into it. But as you can see here, this is actually the second boss we're taking on, and it has very specific mechanics. Uh, one uh, one mode uh, you have to go and stand on the land, and the other mode you have to go and stand on the water. Um, and if you don't, and, and this is a lot more forgiving. This is just normal. Uh, this isn't heroic or anything. Um, the thing is, is if you don't do that, uh, you you tend to die a lot quicker. Now, Cataclysm, when that expansion came out, it was very unforgiving. You had to know the mechanics. You had to be able to do what you needed to do to stay alive and work as a team because there are some bosses that were just... They were a bear to take down. I remember one night we tried taking down this one boss for, I don't know, probably an hour, maybe or maybe more, and just we just could not do it. We kept running back in and trying different things, and we just absolutely could not get this boss to go down. So that's part of it. That's the fun. So like, like I said, I love playing uh, World of Warcraft, and there's tons of quests. Um, again, this is why I have a hard time with Destiny, because a lot of it is like repeat quests, or uh, they just... There's just no real story or no impact on anything. Um, at least, you know, towards yourself and, and uh, the game overall. But uh, here you, you complete quests, you, you fail, I mean, I think uh, in this, uh, this expansion you got to get these certain artifacts in order to get, uh, in order to, get to the um, end game. Now the game is going to get there anyways, but you're not going to experience the content unless you do the content, which is nice. So just got to get in there and uh, do it. Now this boss here is actually a particular pain in the butt. Now I actually am stupid. <laughs> I don't. I, I'm trying to figure this boss out because this one is kind of. It's hard. <laughs> it's it, even for like normal. It's actually a pretty difficult little boss to take down. Of course, right now we're actually taking out a lot of the little garbage or trash, what we call them. Just take out the trash. Get uh, get these guys going. That way, when you take on the boss, you're not fighting all the trash and the boss. Because that boss is actually the big snake thing over there. So I'm standing and stuff, standing and stuff. Got to move. Actually, you know, World of Warcraft. I mean, it's it's older game, but they're constantly updating it. It's actually uh, really nicely done. Um, and one of the things I'm actually super excited for is that they're actually bringing the, um, what is it, the, I, I, wanted, I know there's a name for it, but basically what it means is that when you level, uh, as we see we're here checking to make sure the healer's okay, but uh, when you level up, all the zones are going to be um, scaled. That's what I mean, scaling. You're going to scale the levels, scale the zones to your uh, level. Now that is going to be interesting. That's going to be fun because right now, World of Warcraft, when you level, it is kind of frustrating. It's kind of sad because you just out-level the zones so quickly. Um, Beware. I, I don't think I have completed a, a zone, like quest-wise, in a long time because you just out-level it. You, you gear up too fast. You... you uh, Gain too much level. Now this is where I'm stupid. I don't know what I'm doing. 
You guys that play World of Warcraft are saying, he's an idiot. What's he doing? <laughs> Oh, the poor healer. Poor healer's got to put up with my nonsense. I'm just trying to get out of the stuff. This ain't good. This ain't good. Well, I forgot. Well, what I didn't really realize, I think, is you got to jump in order to get this this uh, debuff off you. Because that's what's um. It's just, I'm still carrying this debuff around. I'm just like I can't figure out why I've got it. My cauterized just popped so yeah and there I go <laughs> and there I go pretty sad pretty sad but I think we do get the boss um, so yeah but you know what if you lose a DPS it's not usually a big deal you can usually finish the fight um, unless of course it is one of those old and um, actually very difficult fights then you might not make it because you might need to have every single DPS because trying to kill the boss or whatever as fast as you can before the healer starts running out of mana to heal everybody. So that's um, that's definitely a, a thing. So like I said just having fun. So that boss is actually pretty difficult. Um, it's actually I think is the hardest boss in the dungeon, <laughs> even harder than the, the final boss. And here's, you know, what's awesome too is that you get your buffs and um, unfortunately they took a lot of it, a lot of the buffs away and I'm not sure why. It's like the mage used to have a specific buff that you'd buff the entire party and uh, it would raise their intellect or critical strike or something like that. These different stats on all the players. And then the druid had its mark of the wild or something and you would buff them and with their specific traits and uh, you'd also have the uh, uh, the paladin would have certain buffs and it's just it's frustrating I think I think that's something they should have kept but eh, what can you do what can you do um, and back in cataclysm there's actually a really cool little thing um, that I loved is that there's this uh, profession called archaeology and if you level that up enough, because it ta you have to level up your professions in order to get uh, get the max max benefit from them. But if you leveled up your your profession of archaeology enough, what would you get was actually the ability to read Sanskrit or something that was in the beginning of the uh, dungeons. There's like these little things. And you, you read it, and then you can buff the whole party for, for something. And then it would give you, like, little extra heals, or it would give you something else. And it was actually a really cool uh, thing to have. And it actually unlocked specific bosses that you couldn't get otherwise uh, if you didn't have this buff or this um, profession maxed, maxed out. Um, so you couldn't f do a complete dungeon run. Uh, you, you'd finish the, like the main boss, but some of the second or side bosses you couldn't get because you didn't have a maxed out profession. And that was really cool to have because um, once you did that, you could, uh, when you d did runs like that, you'd be like the only guy that could do it. And, because, man, let me tell you, leveling up archaeology was not a fun task. <laughs> it was definitely dedication. Oof. See, that's what happens when you stand and stuff. <laughs> that was, uh, it was definitely dedication to get that. Now, personally, <laughs> I absolutely do. I love this game. Um, I'll be continuing to play it for probably for as long as it's, uh, it's around. And they keep updating it. And they do. They keep updating it. We're actually soon to hopefully having that next, uh, next patch. Once that patch drops, we'll have, like I'm thinking is when we're going to have the leveling scaling uh, uh, feature added. I hope so. Because, you know, I love leveling. I know it's kind of silly, but it, you go through the zones. You get the story of the zones and what happened there, what what's going on now. I mean, it's really fun to do. Now, this is actually the final boss, and I'm stupid. Uh, apparently, I got this stupid bubble on me. I don't think it's doing much to me. 
but apparently you have to take damage in order to pop it and I'm sitting here avoiding everything <laughs> I'm like an idiot I, I should have done something to pop it but nope there we go see then it explodes on everybody so that was my own silliness and that's and that's what's awesome too guys it, it's each boss is kind of unique I mean it's basic basic tank and spank most of the time um, you tank it and then you just kill it as fast as possible I see here I'm doing it yet again and uh, let's see if I take damage and if it pops nope I'm, I'm avoiding damage like, <laughs> like a plague <laughs> but a lot of interesting mechanics there you go how you got it popped but anyways actually this isn't the final boss there's one more um, then we go and take them oopsie and we go and take out this final boss now one of the things that to be aware of uh, especially if you're new to world of warcraft is that sometimes you go into these dungeons but people are not exactly friendly you know but uh, you know how online is keyboard warriors uh, more or less is that they, they're all powerful behind the keyboard but you know that's a way some people are and then they're very rude very uh, angry but uh, I think this raid leader or raid leader this um, uh, this tank here is actually pretty friendly he's giving out some good hints telling people things and uh, which is a good thing um, you can be instructive without being a jerk now sometimes you know, I've ran raids in the past where just people are doing stupid stuff and yeah you do get frustrated things that just you're just like why are you guys doing that <laughs> yeah sometimes it is ignorance but after a while you know uh, yeah yeah it's not ignorance look at that I just got polymorphed it turned me into a fishy I'm flopping around <laughs> oopsie I got this arcane bomb on me I just step staying away from people and uh, yep see sometimes sometimes you have to I mean it depends on what the mechanic is um, you have to stack up you have to get close together and other times you gotta split apart I mean it all depends and you have to know what to do and when to do it so I just got thorned or very ill and that's really fun to do um, especially I, I said in cataclysm dungeons it was very you had to do it right even the trash the trash was you know just the stuff in the dungeon it's not the boss but man you had to take take it on right otherwise your party wiped and that was to me that was fun it made the um, CC abilities or the uh, crowd control is what they call um, where you have like four or five uh, uh, enemies in a group and what you got to do is you have take one or put them to sleep or turn them into a sheep or you know just change them so so he can't attack and then you take out the rest of the group and then that uh, then you could actually uh, go after it and uh, take care of it that way but this is actually the final boss and it's actually a not too bad of a boss it's pretty easy as on uh, normal so I to be honest I haven't even run heroic because there's different levels of, of um, dungeons uh, there's normal then there's heroic and then there's mythic <laughs> I think we all know what mythic means mythic means there is some definite difficulty but there's also definitely better rewards um, along the way as well See, just avoiding the stuff, stay out of the fire, and keep uh, keep shooting that thing as much as I can. Now this isn't my actually my main character, so I'm just kind of leveling him up and getting him ready. And there we go. And I believe I get a little bit of loot, and I do. And there we go. And that is a dungeon run in World of Warcraft. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it's been fun. Um, like I said, I love World of Warcraft, and heck, maybe I'll see you online sometime. This is the Crazy Spartan. I'm out of here. Comment, 
like and subscribe.